Hey everybody, I am Tina Craves and I'm back with another video for y'all today. <laughs> All right, y'all know those regulars. If this is your very first time here, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And again, y'all, how y'all been today? Now, are y'all hungry? I am. Let's eat. y'all so y'all know i have spaghetti here <laughs> you're gonna see it about twice a month i and i was serious about that it's one of our favorite meals so i have spaghetti i have garlic bread sticks i have three ears of corn and i got me a salad here um i'm gonna have a ginger ale today And uh, we're going to say our grace, y'all, so we can go ahead and eat, okay? Amen. I got my Catalina dressing that I'm going to use. And I'm going to put ranch on my spaghetti. It's bothering me. What's up, y'all? What's going on today? With y'all, with everybody. With y'all, with everybody, with everyone. What's going on today? I did work a little bit today, y'all. I worked today. Work, got it out of the way, and came on home. Well, I had to go get my daughter from getting her hair done, and I came on home. I'm supposed to go back in the morning. Well, I said I would. Y'all, in the salad is cucumbers, lettuce, tomato, bacon. Um, yellow bell peppers and croutons. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this room up when I'm done. It's a mess. Y'all can't see it, but it's a catastrophe. It is. <laughs> I've been busy. Y'all are renting y'all see it. I'm sorry, I do. I can't help it. I even like the little ranch dip stuff that, that you have, like the Lay's ranch dip for your chips. Y'all believe it or not, I have not been able to find my black cherry IBC sodas nowhere. I ain't been able to find them anywhere. All right, you know what? I'm going to take this off and put it right here to the side. I just got finished cooking the spaghetti. So I mix theirs together, y'all. But sometimes I just love to put my pasta on there and then put my spaghetti. Mix it up. Sometimes that's just what I love to do. I used to do it all the time because my family was like, just mix it all together. Just mix it all together. And I guess what I do, I just mix theirs all together. The only thing about it is Y'all, I had to go downstairs and get me some more meat sauce.
Ooh, we grab it there. Mm, 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 mm. This sounds so good. The only thing about putting your pasta, only bad thing about putting your sauce on top of your pasta and not mixing it is, is sometimes you don't know how much sauce you got compared to noodles. <laughs> like me, but I don't care. Y'all can tell me I ain't nothing all day, huh? Yeah, how about today I was in a store? I had to, um, when I went to get my daughter from getting her hair done, I had to wait for a while, so I went to sleep anyway, but <laughs> when we got finished, we went to Walmart. Mm, 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 mm. I had Parmesan cheese on top, shredded cheese on top. Ooh, a good Saturday meal. What? But I went to Walmart. When I went to Walmart, um, I got everything I needed. And when I got to the register, it was a lady. It was an older lady at the register. A man behind her. I was behind the man. And it was an older lady behind me. Nobody had a lot of stuff, but except for the lady, the lady in front, which is okay. I mean, you, when you got to go in there and get a lot of stuff, sometimes you do. That's why you go to the store. Um, I had to send my daughter back to get me something. Well, I had left. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is good here. This is good to me. Um, anyway, again. So it's like as soon as I told my daughter to walk out. The lady was um, I I, I could pay attention to her then because I, I I couldn't pay attention at first, so I turned I, I, I turned around and I was looking at her and she was just struggling so bad, y'all. She had dropped the pocketbook on the floor, and you know somebody trying to bend down, but you can tell something is hurting them. They can't even get down there; they're just struggling. And I mean, her cards and everything went on the floor. Changed. It was a mess. And the man stood right there and watched her struggle. So I said, do you need help? Do you need help? She said, yes, baby, please. It was an older white lady. 
she was like, um, yes, ma'am, please, can you please help me? She was like, she had a bucket full too. Um, she was like, um, I just had, I ain't been too long, had back surgery. She didn't say just had. So I said, okay, so I helped get all the stuff off the floor. I picked up her money first and gave it to her in her hand so she could see. And I picked up her cards, gave her all the stuff. And she was like, I just thank you so much. And she was leaving some groceries because, um, yeah, she had left like two bags. I knew the cashier lady that, um, and she was like, um, Kena, she, um, leaving her some of her stuff. So I gave it to her. So she, you know, it was okay. She was like, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. She had a mask on and stuff. So I didn't want to hug her because, you know, I didn't want to invade nobody's privacy. But shoot, I know how I feel the struggle. So my daughter, so the, the guy behind me, um, he went. And so my daughter came back. I got ready to pay for my groceries. Um, I was like, dog, Bree, you should have got here a little bit quicker. Your back younger than me and hers, you know. So me and Bree was checking out. Well, I got ready to pay for my last thing. The lady came back. I, I didn't even realize she came back. She came back and said, here, baby, this is for your trouble. She was like, this is for you helping me because I don't know how long it would have took me to try to get everything up. I don't even know if I could have gotten everything up. And I said, okay, and she gave me $10. I was like, thank you. So to the lady on Walmart, if you ever watch this, thank you. And it was my pleasure. Everybody need to help some help every now and then. And nothing wrong with helping your neighbor. And nothing wrong with that. I don't know why the man didn't help her. <laughs> so. Yeah, they are um, locking Justice Smiley up for that stuff he did. Them lies as hell. <clears throat> he got to go to jail for that. Did y'all know that? Justice Smollett got to go to jail for that. He got to make some time for that. Like the old folks said, he got to make some time. He, um, he got 150 days in jail. He was sentenced to that for um, lying. He found, got found guilty of lying about a racist hate crime attack on him. Mm, no one made him do that. Lord. But, uh, he got to go to jail. Mm. And my favorite headline of the day. I don't know why this was even a thing. I knew this was going to happen, though. I knew this was going to happen. I told my babe it was going to happen. And I'm glad it got dropped, but Deshaun Watson, <clears throat> if you don't know who Deshaun Watson is, he was a quarterback for Clemson, went to the draft, he was number one draft pick. He plays for the Houston Texans. 
Well, he wanted a trade. I knew he wanted a trade. He wanted to be traded. He did. He wanted to be traded because they were doing him wrong. Everybody that um all his good weapons they was taken away. He had already had surgery. Um, <clears throat> you know, he don't want to ruin his career because they're taking everybody away, not telling him nothing like he ain't nobody. And he the face of your team. So when he asked for this trade, it's exactly what happened. When he asked to be traded, all kind of allegations. All kind of allegations. Now he was accused of sexually assaulting nine women. Don't you know all of those charges? The grand jury dropped all the charges because there was no evidence after football season was over, which is like now. This just happened. So my thing is, just like I told you, just like I, I've been saying this the whole time, if he had to just want to keep playing for the Texans and not open his mouth about being traded, they didn't want him to play. That they didn't want to have to let, let him go somewhere else. <coughs> and they still gonna have to. That was dirty. Because what, what happened to the women? Nine allegations. Nine allegations. <clears throat> when everything was all good, they had him on there showing all kind of commercials about him, handing out food to the needy, giving out turkeys, um, uh, <clears throat> Paying for janitors, paying for their, 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 um, giving them money, giving them paychecks and all type of stuff. Like when COVID hit, all type of stuff. None of these allegations came out in college. None of that. But because he wanted to be traded, I knew that was going to happen. I, I, listen, I knew it was going to happen. It had, this happens every other year in the NFL. When somebody want to be traded, people come out with all kind of allegations when they want to be traded. The, the the team, the NFL is a trip. Y'all just don't know. I like the NFL, but NFL is a trip. And you can't talk too bad about them, honey, because did y'all see the y'all see the movie with Will Smith, huh? NFL is a whole mob. So now the charges got dropped. Now the charges done got dropped. His character defamed. And he didn't play the whole year. Deshaun Watson, if you hear me, come to the Carolina Panthers, baby. We won't treat you like that. Come on over. Come on over, Deshaun. We want you, baby. Colin Kaepernick keep trying out. He ain't trying out. He be been exercise and say he ready to come back to the NFL and say he ready. Child, they do not care. Calm down. I'm telling that about you, honey. If you come back, they're going to have to say I'm that, that, Even if they don't say I'm sorry, if you come back calling, Kaepernick, that's going to be their way of saying I'm sorry. And the NFL ain't going to apologize to nobody. To nobody. Especially not to you, baby. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Sad, but it is true. Too much damage was done, even no matter what. No, no matter what. Baby, I hate it. Hopefully somebody, but Panthers, Carolina Panthers, we won't call the Kaepernick too. So him or Deshaun can come um, shot a swing our way. We need you.
It's good, y'all. <laughs> oh, it is. Ain't fun. Mm. The bell pepper, let me tell you, when you put bell pepper in your salad, it just changes the whole texture. You know, bell pepper got a, a distinct flavor. So it just, it, man, it's just so good to me. <laughs> oh, I just had to enjoy the flavor of that bell pepper in my salad. Y'all let Brie whistle. Brie ain't scared of nothing. Not driving. That's what I'm talking about. Well, she's not. I did not drive. I'm going to say Greenville like y'all know what I'm talking about. But Greenville, from my hometown, was 30 minutes on the highway. Like, how on the, you know, busy highway. I, I didn't drive. Like that until after I graduated high school. I had license, but I just couldn't drive to the to another town like that on the highway. Back roads, yes. <clears throat> she don't care. None of the kids do. A lot of kids I went to school with were scared to drive. We was just scary. These kids fear nothing. No one. Nothing. I didn't steal nothing. We'll steal everything. I haven't quite made up my mind what my Sunday dinner is going to be. It's gonna be something. <laughs> right. Gotta eat something. It's gonna be something. <sighs> my nose stuffy. And I have my mouth closed. It's hard to breathe. <laughs> but I'm trying not to keep my mouth open so food get to fall in everywhere. I want y'all to tell a friend, to tell a friend that we over here getting it in. I made so many new friends, y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to write everybody's name down. I'm going to write everybody's name down who has um who has a channel, who's been following. And I subscribe back. You subscribe to me. I subscribe to you. I don't mind a bit. Let's support each other. I don't mind supporting people. I've been supporting people long before I even had a channel, so I don't mind supporting people now. Um, but thank y'all so much for welcoming me. That's awesome. Um, the year is 2022, y'all. Out with the old, in with the new. It's still the first part of the year, even though it was freezing today, and it was freezing yesterday. Like, what we got going on? I thought we trying to move forward, you know, to the summer. The spring. I don't want to keep sneezing, sneezing and stuff. But I'm tired of being, I got tired of being cold now. Because I ain't prepared like, oh. Anyway. But the year's still fresh. Y'all make sure if it's an endeavor that you want to go do, please do it. If you want to go bungee jumping, please do that. You want to go skiing because I do a little bit just, well, okay. I think a little bit though. I want to go to Aspen and put on the Aspen's clothes. But I don't actually want to get on the skis. But I do want to go to Aspen in the snow. Okay. Like, I do. <clears throat> I want to do all that. You know, and I just made next year, y'all. Because we don't got one life to live. Everybody is not going to be pleased about what you're doing. Especially if you're doing it the right way. You know, that's where the problem comes in at. 
Um, everybody can't handle that it's you that's doing it. Everybody can't handle that you finally said you was going to do what you said you was going to do. Um, and everybody can't handle when you just start to change who you are as a person. You know, <clears throat> when you stop partying, people that party, they don't invite you out no more. They don't. When you stop drinking, when you stop smoking, when you stop doing all kind of bad habits and you was doing it with other people and you stop, that's just like, you know, that discernment kicks in when I'm around a pastor or a preacher or my elder. You know, I cuss y'all. I do. I don't mean to all the time. But when I get around them, I can just not do it. I don't. And that's what happens. You know, people will see the light in you and Sometimes they'll separate themselves and it's okay because the ones that mind, they don't matter. And the ones that matter, they don't mind. Y'all, we are on the road. We are on the road to 1K, y'all. Let's just keep climbing to the top because we got almost there and we ain't going to stop. Hey, I told y'all I was something like a rapper. Y'all don't believe me. All right, y'all. Stay crispy and crunchy, my cravings, and I'll be back. Monday with another video. Tomorrow Sunday. Y'all know we take a little brief hiatus. But thank y'all for watching. Bye.